Halloween, man, Gen Z kids are so lazy. So, dude, they're coming to the door. So I got all excited because a kid showed up, the first kid that showed up, and he's got a horse mask on. And I finally crushed the the, the final season of BoJack Horseman, right? And I was so like, it's it is one of my favorite shows. Hmm. And uh, and I just I yelled at him so excited. I'm like, are you BoJack? And he just looked at me in his weird autistic Gen Z look on their face they have all the time. <laughs> Dear, and, uh, I know that. And he too. had no idea what I was talking about. And his little sister wasn't even in costume. And uh, and I'm like, look, we've got a lot of candy here and it's snowing. So I don't think a lot of kids are going to show up. Take as much candy as you want. So not only is there no trick or treat, there's no costumes uh, for the whole bunch of kids. They don't really even want the candy. I think their parents are just forcing them out. Of that. I, I just think Gen Z kids sit around and stare at the wall all day. All right. Let's 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 attack that look. First of all, that look that someone's giving is like, I'm going to look everywhere but at you to demonstrate how uncomfortable I am with right. what's happening right now. Right. But if you had 100 of these people in a room not looking at each other, demonstrating how uncomfortable they are, and, and then nobody's really telling each other anything. You just have a bunch of people really confused in a room looking all over the place, except at <laughs> totally. each other. Right. Like now. <laughs> like now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, every one of those kids is a CEO of an app, though. This That's Halloween, what we hid, literally. I don't know. Ever since Sam left home, it's not fun, right? When I was a kid, we, I'd go out for Halloween, and there was always the couple of the old lady and the old man that were all excited to ask you what your costume was, which was depressing if they couldn't figure it out. <laughs> and I thought, oh, one day I'll be that old man. And now Halloween comes, and we just turn off the lights, and we hide. <laughs> like, I, we order, we order takeout. <laughs> We hide in the living room with all the lights off. Say and it isn't so. That's and terrible. And pretend that there's nobody home. I know. It's, <laughs> I know. It is terrible. But I'm I'm grouchy this this time of year. I was an unwed zombie dropout mother for Halloween. I had a cheerleader costume on. I was covered in blood and rotting, rotting flesh. And be, because I couldn't figure out how to affix the doll to an umbilical cord and have it dragging behind me. <laughs> If I'd seen uh, I, you, it would have been different. I would have I turned on the lights and we would have given you some candy. I, I, had <laughs> right. to, I had to put the doll into a box with that sign. Un, it said undead with a big W over the D. So it said unwed. Undead. Uh, unwed zombie dropout mother. Spare any brains, right? Like it was, that, was my nice. whole, that was my whole shtick. I did that for a concert, actually. So. Nice. Well, that beats the snot out of the kid that showed up at my door saying he was jacket boy. Jacket. <laughs> Actually, I'd give him something too. That's pretty ingenious. Yeah. <laughs> this year, the doorbell rang a couple of times, and I was sure that it was the food arriving because oh. the lights were all off and the house was dark, right? Yeah. So, and it was dark outside and pouring rain. Yeah, I don't like, know why people went out. It's I don't know so why bad. people went out either. They should have a postponed Hall Halloween They did by that one in Montreal, thing. apparently. That's what I heard. Yeah, they, oh, that's smart. That's I was, smart. I mean, it's not like, yeah, but how like, important is that holiday, right? How do you postpone? Like, it's always October 31st. Once November 1st hits, like, uh, everyone's in a different mood. Well, they got to get Halloween over gotta, with so they can run the Christmas ads. Exactly. You got to start. The Christmas movies have started November 1st. The W Network started playing <laughs> Christmas movies. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, it was freezing cold and raining, and, and I we got two kids showing up out of I don't know how many thousands that we tricked into staying away and right. it, they were both soaked like 10 year old kids and I'm not I feel like an old man saying this but they were soaked like not just wet but drenched yeah, like drenched weird, soaked pouring. to the skin yeah. sideways rain that oh, yeah, yeah. like you just pulled them out of the water and uh, and I don't know I mean, I mean they got candy and pneumonia I suppose it was pouring yeah. and cold that's, that's what Halloween's all about yeah oh. Actually, my, a friend of my uh, my roommate who has a, a seven year old daughter, he said to me just yesterday. He said, "Oh man, you should have seen. I took Zyri to her uh, to her um, dance class, and and all the girls in the dance class, they're all like standing around like like adults that have been partying really hard for three days. Like they're all just like, oh, okay, we're gonna get through this uh, because of the candy drop, <laughs> the, candy, oh the candy ups and downs and ups and downs of the candy." Oh my gosh. And now they're all like together, like, all right, that's dance class. Okay. Hey, close attention. 
Today's show is brought to you by Ritalin. The more you take, the less you care. And by the letters P, T, S, and D, and the number pi. 